Hi, how's everybody doing today? Um, I made a video a while back on how to uh, spot fake Jordans, and um, there's also two different types of fakes that are going out, and there's a lot of different fake Jordans, but the main one, this is a fake, and uh, this is uh, an 86 Michael Jordan reprint, okay, and you're like, well, how would you know that? Well, when you start getting into cards like this, I was getting these cards back when I was a kid. I'm 48 years old, I'll be 49. So I was getting these cards back when I was a kid. I even got my original pack. And I got, I'll show you the cards and I'll show you how to compare this stuff. But you want to go out into the Dollar Tree and get yourself a magnifying glass. You know, get one of those. And this has got a light on it. It's like a dollar, okay? And then same with this thing. You magnify it. But what you're doing here is on the back of this card, you can't really see it. But this was like one of the first edition reprints. If you put a magnifying glass, you can see, um, you can see the 27. We'll get closer. Sorry. You can see the, um, there's a 27 right here. And my finger's pointing. And in there, it'll say 27.2. In the fake, it doesn't have the decimal in the 27.2. And... These numbers right here are blurred sometimes. And then not necessarily the arrow, but the texture of the card is just like plasticky. Okay. And what I suggested in my other video is you go out and you buy a regular 86 Fleer card that's legit. Okay, they're even making reprints of this stuff. And you can clearly see on the reprint, okay, the little man. See the little man? Can you see it? A little bit closer. You see the man, the little man? See how f light that is? See the difference? That's the real one. That's the fake. Same with that. The decimal. I'll move over. The decimal right there. It's fake. Fake in here. That's not as blurry. Pretty good colors. I mean, if you didn't know any better, it, you could, it, you know, you wouldn't know if you're buying it. That's why it's good to get these graded. I'm going to send mine in to get graded. I've had it. It's mangled, but it's still real. But there's one of them, and then they've gotten better. And I don't know about this. I got this in a collection. Okay, so I wasn't sure because it matches up with the, everything's pretty straight on it, except the darkness in that. See the darkness in the color? And see how white that is and how yellow that is that's almost cream color and that's white and that's a real one and they're all like that okay the one I pulled out of this pack the Jordan I pulled out of this pack uh, is white like that and I'll show you the difference but in this remake of it it's so it's right on target the little man you can see the little man we'll put him right next to him he's just a little darker the little man see fake one real one see the colors are just a little different see how red that is in the one in my right hand is kind of a little red but it's more pink it's orange orange red you can see the difference in them when you're standing next to them but i'm trying to show you as close as i can even these color this is darker and then the little man's darker so I don't know. I'm going to send it in and see what the hell happens with this one. I'm not sure. But I know the other ones I'm showing you are fake as hell. And I'm going to say this is fake until I get it authenticated. And I know this one is fake for sure. Okay, I know that one's fake. We know it's fake. Okay. And nothing pisses me off more than reprint cards. I hate them things. I don't know why eBay allows them to be sold on eBay. It's a disgrace to any hobby. But back in the day, I pull, I got, I, I have wrappers like this, and I kept this one because I got, you know, my man out of there. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards out of the original pack, and the other ones I traded. One was Gus Williams, Eddie Johnson, James Edwards, Mark Eaton, Robert Paris. I had a Terry. Uh, Clyde with Drexler and Cliff Robinson and uh, a Robert Parrish I think I had I think I had Robert Parrish I don't know if I still have him not James Edwards 
but I have a Rob, I had a Robert Parrish and another one, uh, and I traded that for some Chris Bryant rookie cards. But the Jordan here got mangled because this girl I was dating back when I was a younger guy, her kid got a hold of this card and a bunch of other stuff and mangled the hell out of them, even a few of these cards. But my buddy, uh, you know, needed it for a set, and it wasn't as mangled as this. But I'm gonna send this in, and you can tell. See what I'm saying about the color here? Every one of these cars match up with that color. See? Every one of them because I pulled them out of the same pack. You know what I mean? They're all the same color. The Jordan, I don't know how would it be worth or anything, but I've had it for a long, long time and I just keep it like this. But I'm going to send it in to get graded. But when you're doing business with these cards, make sure you get them graded unless you're damn good at knowing what you're looking for. And, you know, you have to be really, really good at what you're looking for because these people are getting really good at making reprints and you'll lose shit tons of money. And then another thing they're making reprints on are these. This is my, I consider Jordan's rookie card and I have his 101 also, which I'll show you guys that later on. And there's no way, I don't care what anybody tells except for the reprint thing, there's no way to tell the difference between a reprint and a fake uh in a, a legitimate 101 because um, they were printing them cards in the 90s with 84 and 85 stamps. That's why people will stop grading them because it's the original card, but it's just the date's printed wrong on it. It should have been printed in the 90s and then they're printing 84 and 85. And then the original 84s and 85s are being the, using the same stamps. But this thing right here is a dead giveaway. See, promotional use only. Not for resale. Okay. Now what these dicks are doing is they there's a little card that comes with it. You see? You see the different colors, even that? Even the little card has the same color as that one. This is PSA 6, 1985 um, Nike uh, promo card. People consider this to be his rookie card. I do. I consider 84, 85 his rookie season, and then this is his rookie season. So anyway, on the back of these cards, there's no promo. See? Dead giveaway. No promo. If this card came with this card, it would have the no promo thing. And I've seen the original ones. I had one, and I don't know what happened to it. But I bought this to show you. For, it was like uh, five bucks or something I, at the flea market. I bought it at the. I bought it to show you guys that this is a fake. Okay, even at the flea market, you're like, oh, these people don't know what they have. No, they don't know what they have. They don't care because they don't know if it's real or not. And this is a fake. Okay, more than likely, it's a fake. I would guarantee it. Uh, especially when you match it up with the real one. The sky isn't the same color. The buildings aren't the same color. And uh, Jordan looks at like he's wearing a red. You know how that's red? See the difference? It's, it's not as red in this as it is in that one. And I know it's a smaller picture, but it's supposed to be a duplicate of this original one. And this mark is not there. It says Air Jordan, which I have seen different versions of this card. But most of them have this right there doesn't have air drawn dead giveaway and there's no you know what I mean doesn't tell you who made it because it was from Nike Nike made it Nike made this card so that's what you're looking at for that and there's no way to really tell on fakes on stuff like that you have to get this stuff kind of graded which I did and it came back a PSA 6 but it's legit you know what I mean totally legit legit and I don't care what they're selling for on the internet. They're worth a lot more than they're what they're selling. They're actually, in my opinion, a shorter version. There's there's a short print right here, and not only is it a short print, it's a Nike short print rookie card of Michael Jordan. And uh, there's not a lot of them, and there's more of these cards than there are those cards. And this is actually young, uh, you know, first and only edition of that. And this edition was the first appearance of Jordan in, on a Fleer card. That's why I call it a rookie season. And the same with the 92, uh, 93 Topps uh, ba uh, Basketball Archives. It's the first appearance of Jordan on a Topps. But his his rookie season was 84, 85, and the man broke his leg and came back and still won Rookie of the Year. Amazing fella. Amazing athlete. So that's what you find it looking at on this. And as I said, I know that some of this stuff, I've, I've opened this up. I keep this stuff. I'm a collector. I've been doing this for a long time. And, uh, you know, sometimes you get lucky through life and you get stuff that's worth a lot of money in the future, but you're just collecting it because you're, hey, this is pretty cool. 
and I kept my wrappers and stuff, and I do that with all my cards. Well, most of my cards don't get hit. Like, I won that Michael Jordan card out of this pack, so I'll stick it with it, you know, and link so I know what cards are hitting and what they look like, you know. Same with this. Do it. It's all flat. Man, it's 86. So, yeah. I put them together. Put them in a one touch. And this is my Jordan box. I have all Jordans in there. <laughs> Some autographs and stuff. Which I'm going to show you guys later on. But I didn't want to just start breaking out all my high end. Except fence of stuff. Which I have a lot of. And then I have a binder of reprints. To show uh, some of the reprints on these Michael Jordans. Because I do videos. And I also give them out to people. So when they're buying these cards. Off the internet or something. And they're my friends. I, I just make sure that they know what they're looking for. And try to educate them on big purchases like that. Because um, unless you get them graded. And even now they're even making fake grades. But on the back of every PSA card. Beckett card. No matter what company it is. They have a registration number. Call them. Ask them if the card's registered before you make any big purchases. Or look it up on the internet. And bang. You'll know if it's legit or not. And if you want to put it, come out of pocket on that stuff. So. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope hopefully this was a little more helpful than the last video. I realized um, I didn't have a tripod at the time, and uh, one of the dudes uh, I always just saw a comment. And he was like, "Yo, you're moving too much." I appreciate that kind of feedback. Let me know what else I could do to improve. But like I said, the dead giveaways are in here and there. And as I said, I would go and go get yourself a cheap. Uh, uh, you know, Fleer card of any player, just a cheap one, so you can compare this shit, and you can see the colors in it, how off they are, and decimals and everything. Just uh, it doesn't matter if I drop this; it's not worth for a penny. But that's what I would do. Oh, I do have my Robert Parrish. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I made some trades back in the future. I mean, back in the day, and uh, that stuff I like, but. Um, I do have more of these cards, so we'll go through those later on, but hopefully, like I said, it was helpful, and hopefully that, um, you know, even though this is a mangled home one, it's real, you know, and of course that kid had to get into my Babe Ruth shit, and um, luckily those weren't top, uh, you know, good one touches, and uh, now I learned my lesson, any kind of high-end stuff that I get, or I think may be high-end in the future, they go right into one touch. And uh, this is right after that happened. I went to the store and bought this back in the 80s or 90s or whatever it was. And uh, I still have it. So it's a little chipped on top here, though. But he's sitting there better than he was doing before. They crunched the hell out of my man here, the little kid. I was, I, I felt like I was uh, going to, oh, man. I can't explain the feeling that was in my belly when he did that to my car. It was a very emotional day for me. Um... I was like, oh, what of all the cards? Oh, no. You know, but it happens. Little kids don't know no better. Anyway, this is supposed to be for little kids and adults. have kind of taken the hobby away. It's like, you know, when the PlayStation comes around, you take the controller and you start playing. And little kids, like, it's my turn. And they're like, oh, yeah, here you go. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful. Look, just... Pay attention to what you're buying. Don't buy this stuff ungraded unless you pull it out of a pack that's legit and you know, graded and you bust out a pack and you find one or it's graded by PSA, Beckett, or whoever else wants to grade them that is high end. But most of the people are getting PSA ones. And um, even though all the stuff that's going on, PSA and PWCC and all that stuff, um, I'm going to send my stuff in and I know that this one's legit, so it'd probably be like a one or a two or something like that, but hey, it's legit, it'll be sealed, and we'll be able to do more videos on how to point out these fakes, and this one I'm going to send in, but I probably, I'll, I would say it's a re re reprint, I would say that if, if I was betting, but we'll send it in just to see what's up, we know this is a reprint, so anyway, any questions I, or any ants, you know, anything I can help you with, just let me know, um, me up. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, have a blessed day.